In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your GitHub project onto Netlify. So this will be a step-by-step -step guide. So what we'll do is we'll go to netlify.com. We'll click deploy to Netlify. Then we'll go ahead and choose GitHub here. So click on GitHub. And then what you can do, you can go ahead and log in and authorize GitHub. If you're already logged in, it should come up with your account and it will request authorization. So just authorize that. After you've done that, you'll be then logged in. And if this is your first time logging in with GitHub, you just need to enter in some details. So I'm gonna enter in my details here, Bradley, knowledge, and then we can go ahead and choose how we're using Netlify. I'm just gonna put here for personal, and I'm just gonna put web app. I'm a freelancer or a hobby developer, and we'll just put my team name as knowledge base. Now we can go ahead and continue to deploy. And what we need to do is select GitHub again. So choose that and it will ask you here to log in to your account. So go ahead and again, authorize this. Then continue and you can then sign in with your GitHub account once more. And again, just go ahead and choose which repositories you want to import. Now you can import all of them. If you just want select repositories, click only select repositories, then choose the one you want. So I'm gonna import a to-do list, then we'll go ahead and click install. Now this to-do list is a very simple web app. So now we'll enter in the password. And now we've done that, we can now confirm. It's gonna redirect us back to Netlify and here we can see the project and what we can do now is click on it. Now let's click deploy to-do to Netlify and I'll show you what this app is. It's a very simple to-do list that I created for this demonstration. So now this is deploying right now. So now that's done, we can click get started and you'll be able to go into the back end of this site. Now what we can do, we can click on it and here will be the link and we can click on that again and it should open and here is the to-do list. So we need to record video. So this is a to-do list, it's hosted now and it's deployed and that is all you have to do.